fact, that's probably cheaper. I mean, they're probably better against cavalry, aren't they? Hot plate war, rapid advance, disciplined formation attack. Whereas you guys, you have slight. Well, that one has that has better melee. Oh, that one has meta melee capabilities. And you guys get a charge bonus, and you guys have better health. But then you guys are cheaper. Probably those guys. Yeah, I can hire two for one. So you guys can do stuff. What about you? Do you have anything? Do you have anything to spare? No, you guys are defending Larissa. Well, you're the defenders, so you'll be watching that. Ten thousand will be watching over there. You're making us cash. Okay, we'll hopefully push into these positions. Fingers crossed they're built out of shit units. But of course, as they have a shit ton of resources, they I fear they may have... Who are these people anyway? How big is their turf? Ah. The gate, eh? Right, okay. They're currently at war with those guys. Who are also currently at war with a few other guys. Okay, now that we've got some research, let's look over here. Whilst I'm training up an extra bit of support, we might be able to push in and perhaps just capture that region. They are... safe, apparently. Alright, next turn. This is intriguing. I'm really getting excited, because I'm like, hmm, which, what would work out better? I mean, it would be nice if I could pounce on Delementium, but... <laughs> I've yet to research any kind of siege capabilities. As, as such, I'm still working on the economy side. But... That said, if we could knock out the Gato, we could totally have a whole strip of land to ourselves. But that would require one hell of a fight. And my army is more than capable of... Well, my army is at least more than capable of doing it. But it's just... You know, is it is it worth it? Is it, you know, is it going to be one which is which could be profitable, you know? I mean, I might transfer the 10,000 to watch Epidamos and transfer these guys to watch Navos so that I could send the Lazy Battalion perhaps to support... Um, ooh, what are you doing in my lands? What are you doing in my lands? What the, hell are you, what the hell's that? Who is that? Y I see you. Ooh, factions have been destroyed. Boy! Okay, so they're down. Another faction encountered. Um, they're... W okay, faction encounters over there. Herculoni Spears. Uh, Navos has now got a farm, which is brilliant. Trespasser. I was going to say, they've entered my turf. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And the Skorsky are down as well. What? Oh! Okay. They're gone. They are actually gone. Okay. Not many people. Damaged armies. Okay, let's see how this goes. Lazy battalion could go and let's just poke a little bit further. Ah, levy freemen. Their weapon damage might be slightly better than mine. Are they? Nope. And my armor is much better. Cause I'm Bastards. greedy cap along If you feel stabbing a barbarian Ready for further no. orders. Yeah. Right Two archer battalions And some Pacolodi spears What's the difference? Pacolodi peltasts are 36 damage Whereas the Holy crap uh, Javelin man You are not needed you, my friends, where are they? 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 There you are! <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Holy crap! Look at that! 36! Versus... Same range, much better ra- Oh, good god. That's awesome. That is- That is freaking awesome. So I've got... Spartan Hoplites with a couple of mercenary vets. We've got two Citizen Cavalry, and I'm thinking one more of those. Actually, no, just just that. Just that should be okay. Because I think we could hire on the way towards Davos. No, Davos, we can't hire any at all. Okay, so Epidavos will have to go there. Okay, this is looking very much more like the chance for us to kick ass, take names, and tap, capture a settlement. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Okay, so one more turn. 
So we're losing money, but we're actually gaining money as well because we're going to be earning a bit of a... We're going to be earning a cattle farm, which means extra cash. She's earning us money and also gaining experience as well. I don't know where it says she gets the experience. Is it the details? I think she. It, I think it's in the details. Details? Yeah, she's getting some experience. And it won't be long before she gets another one, which is even better. So, while this episode has been a bit of a drag... I guess one. T I guess it's going to be a case of one episode is peace and the next is war, which I suppose if you guys don't mind that, because we've had a fair amount of fighting in the last few episodes anyway, so it's not like you guys have had your bloodlust completely drained. And you know me, I'm not going to keep the peace for long. I'm crap at democracy. <laughs> democracy? What is democracy? It's, it's a little thing that paper... Oh, well, yeah, yeah, well how about I rub that on my ass and shove you with a spear? How about that? Oh, okay. So, yes. Right, next turn. Which is good, because we've got the winter coming in. Winter is coming. Um, we could perhaps have an advantage. Though, those Scorsi bastards are trying to do stuff, which is annoying. I'm just thinking, if we could go to war with them. They will be fully, re they will be fully rebuilt and re-equipped by the time we get there. But, they are much weaker than previously hoped. And hopefully, I can also poison the wells, doing some damage, and hopefully opening the gates because that would be kind of helpful. If their gates are opened by someone, that would be nice. Though, before I do go to war with them, I possibly will need to consider... Okay, so they're currently recruiting their dudes. I'm just thinking, they possibly could also have a multiple... They might have allies, so I'll have to do a bit of research on the areas surrounding this area, this um, settlement. Before I try. Um, reach the... Reach out to the te following category construction. What's that? Oh, that's nice. Uh, Red Death, good. Herculoni Spears. At your command. At once. Zoom. Your next command. It is a great and glorious thing to serve your people. Right, I'm thinking one more hoplite. Four Spartan hoplites. And then the rest of the Herculoni Spears. That's a fairly decent sized army, to be honest with you. Encouraged populace. Yeah! Motivated populace. Yeah! Woo! We are popular, and it is awesome. We've got one more of those. Two more turns before we can improve our farming capabilities, which will also mean more food and more money, which is even better. And it will be one more turn before Shrine of Athena comes into play, so that's even better. Spy, I need you to go look around and discover no, stuff. I cannot. Well, screw you then, you lazy bastard. I'll send you to the lazy battalion then. How would you like that, you idiot? Uh, honestly, you you hire one for you hire a spy and then she, and you let her have a chill out phase, and the next minute she always demanding. Oh, that looks familiar. <laughs> okay, um, that uh, turf is earned. Uh, is currently owned by them. So. Singdom is currently building. It has got siege capabilities. What is construction, though? In construction. Uh, what's my objectives, then? i got to remember which one is my objectives. Ah, there's my objectives. That would be nice. Capture that. Oh, research and technology. How many turns have we got left? Twenty one. Uh, research and technology in the current. Okay, so what's that? That's not bad, actually. So, two more turns, and then after we've done that, I could perhaps go in for Siege Tower. Oh, is that? No, that one. That one's better, because we'll be besieging something. Good God, really? That said Siege Tower. 
Okay, that makes sense. And we'll be constructing some buildings around. So we'll, do, yeah, we'll have besieging. We'll be aggressive. There you go. Right, so... End of the turn. Get ready for a war. I'm looking forward to this. Very much looking forward to this. Nervous, though. Because... Well, not nervous, but more like I'm I'm excited, I'm getting ready. This is like the proper right, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, sort of thing. Though I fear we may not have that thing beforehand, but if we could have attrition's I'm trailing with the Athenians, which would be nice. If we had a military alliance with the Athenians, that would be nice as well. But at the same time I kinda want their turf. <laughs> No, I think if we have allies, I think I think more importantly, it's better to have allies in this game than to have territory. Yes, it would be nice to have the extra money coming in, but right, winter, okay. Ah, good, she's ranked up. Quartermaster report, red death, mild winter, and Marissia. Authorita. Right, I have now got a 20 out of 20 size army, which is good. On the move. You have further orders? My skills are yours. Right, let's go and investigate the other clan. Okay, so Suggester, once again, is the same. Is it the Buraki clan? No, the Everscari. I remember them. Okay, so they haven't really got a major army at the moment. Or at least large enough that, um it would be a considerable threat. I think we could breathe easy for a bit. Tempted. I really am tempted. Well, uh, what I'll probably do is I'll put it in Apolnia. Um, Apolnia or Epidemus? I think Apolnia is safe. Because that's, no, that's in Larissio as well. So, yeah, right next to my turf. Minus food, lots more gain. As I can research stuff faster. And more money means more um, awesome stuff. Right, Red Death. Ready for battle. Get ready to go to war, and you get ready to... Okay, so you're recruiting, but you haven't really got anything. You've got Celtic Warriors, who have got a very good weapon damage. They are quite a good weapon damage. Also, you've got um, a lot of... Hmm. You've got two very powerful soldiers, but then you've also got some understrength stuff. So fingers crossed when we do go to war with you, you won't be too badly be too badly hit. Um, as for... Oh, hello. Those are... Between those two. Okay, Athens. The blessing of the Olympians upon you. What then do your noble people desire of us? We should be allies, like proper nice. I don't know, what about between us and Sparta? Um... Can I give, give him a gift? I oh, know it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, why not? No, um, I haven't got enough cash, have I? Uh, military alliance. No, not, it's not going to be as simple as that, is it? Damn. I wish I had trade. If I had trade, life would be so much easier. But I don't. Why can I not trade? It says... Sea route from their capital cannot be established. Bullshit! It's Rome! What's going on? Right, okay. We'll get ready for it. Okay, so... Currently in winter. Save this one here. Getting ready to launch an attack on the town of Sandun. Or Sangidun. I think we could have called it Sandy Gun. Sandy Gun. Um, one more turn, and we'll also have researched something, of which then the next turn will be towards researching um, extra wep you know, extra money or extra stuff. I might declare war on the Sing doing guys and just, uh, I don't know, lay siege. How many turns could that hold out? Well, what I'll do is I'll poison the wells. Definitely poison the wells. Just, just keep screwing over the country. Just keep screwing over the populace. Maybe even try an assassination attempt on them. But just just keep screwing them over. Just keep damaging them and damaging them until eventually they Oh shit. Yeah. We could go for They hmm. 
I wonder, if we circumnavigate the town and then go for that army, we could lure those out, causing them to have less and le less troops. Downside, it is winter. Yeah. Improved irrigation, huzzah. Right, siege. Hey, it's six turns instead of five. Because that totally helps. Right. Okay. So, coming up to the end of the episode. Like I said, one episode of peace, then another of war. We're running very low on cash. So, we're going to have to take care as to what we do. But, I might send the lazy battalion up. And, because they, they are currently, they're okay. We're not at war with them. I mean, are we at war with them? They're not, they're not likely to go to war with us, are they? Okay, they don't like us at all, do they? Not very. Mm. They're neutral to us. They aren't very friendly towards us. So really, of all the places I should go to, that would be a proper one. But then, then again, these two... Politically, how are these two signing up towards one another? They don't like each other very much either. Right. How, long, how do they feel? Oh, they're indifferent. Okay, so they don't really care, which is kind of a thought. What kind of army is that? That's another army which is quite large. Base morale is already suffering some losses. Warmongers are getting more troops. Royal yeah. Warlord. Let's have a little inspection over here. On the road again. Levies, spearmen, tribesmen. What about you? What kind of stuff do you have? Can't even see it. Okay, well I want to go for these guys because they haven't really got the best of army. God damn it. No, I can do it. I can do it. Why? Because the lazy battalion will get off their asses and actually do something. What if I leave these guys? Minus. God damn. What about you? Nope, can't even leave you there. Okay. Polnier is going to be happy. They're currently doing quite well at the moment. Where's the 10,000? 10,000? Can I send them over there? We cannot do that. We yeah, you're fine. You can, is that all? you can go over to there. Get to it, men! Can't even oh, issue an edict. Ready for orders. What's that? Hmm. Ready for battle. Okay. Right, well. On the, it would be easier to go for this place than it would be to go for there. It just means I'd have to keep fannying about, which is not really what I wanted to do. It would help if I had multiple spies. So they don't like me very much, and it would put to bed an, um, an issue. It's not a very big place, but it's an extra, it's an extra port of call, like an extra base. And it would provide me with the capabilities to attack another settlement on this area. Of course, we have got another nation to... We'd have another sort of thing. Okay. Hmm. Barbarians? Half barbarians. Barbarians? Half barbarians. I think I'll go... Right. I will go here. Make haste, men. They can... Finding they shelter. can wait. They, I haven't got a reason to go north. But I have got a reason to go here. Smaller settlement, fingers crossed, not, and it's not as well defended as over here. This one has less, but they've got more. Whereas this settlement has got slightly more, but they've got less. Right, okay. I think I've finally made my mind up. And I will, for the next couple of turns, to make up for the fact that I can't make my mind up of where to attack next. Because I'm utterly crap at playing any other nation, apart from barbarians. 
I love I love playing the Barbarian faction. I will say, playing Swabia was much easier. Why? Because everyone was your enemy. <laughs> you know, you didn't have to think, oh, okay, well, what about this? What's the consequences of that? Or, oh, what's the consequences of this? It was literally, I don't like you. Bam. Okay, you're gone. What about you? Okay, you're a bad guy. Bam. You're gone. You know, I, I just, I'm very much conscious of the mistakes I made in the last campaign, and I don't want to repeat them, as I do want to succeed pretty much every time we fight. Um, because otherwise it will be a be embarrassing and b really set me back because at the moment we are not in a position to survive whereas at the whereas in my swear bear campaign I could recover I could easily turn things around like okay well I could turn things around in the previous campaign but in this campaign it's like no I screw up I die I lose my entire army and the abilities for my soldiers to survive so it's Gathering certainly supplies. you know not an easy thing to work with so said we could hopefully once we've captured that and earned enough money I could start blitzkrieging if I could earn enough money I would upgrade the lazy battalion we with perhaps a few them. more soldiers and perhaps we give the defenders of Arisia a chance to be aggressive once more um, the 10,000 perhaps could you know we could raise another small army it's just if I could capture a couple more settlements which hopefully if I can do that I could send lazy battalion over to support and then have Epidamos or something because they are part because we're currently um, we're still in control of that, which means if we can control that, they're happy there, they could be happy there, they could be happy there. So, okay, we've got a plan then. So you've got levies, spearmen, which is better than usual, but not too bad. You guys have got some levies, spearmen, tribesmen, and slaves, of course. You guys, I don't know what you guys have got. Let's go nearby and discover what you guys have got. You guys have got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of levies. Good God. Yeah, Spartans would rip that shit up. Okay, well. Right, okay, cool. So. Alright then, well, I'm gonna... Right, okay, so we'll have one more turn to compensate for the fact that it's been a while since I got into battle and I will call it on this one. So thank you very much for watching this. If you like this kind of content do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below um, also by clicking on the like and of course subscribing to the channel. If you yourself are a Total War veteran um, especially if you are a Greek veteran because this is also, just to note, my first Greek campaign in Rome 2 and you have, happen to have any useful hints and tips for me to be able to expand faster, be more efficient, find the better units that will save me money, anything like that at all, um, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you are a YouTuber yourself who also happens to do Total War as well, or just YouTube in general, um, if there's anything I could do to improve my commentary, style of videos, method of everything, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below as well. Thank you very much for watching this, guys, and in the next episode, I guarantee we'll actually do something in the sense of war. Um, especially, well, starting with the conquest of that place. I guarantee that next episode I will do something to conquer that settlement. So thank you very much for watching. They're already preparing for it as well. And I will see you guys next time. This is Crap Hunter, signing out. I'll catch you next time.